She was sent home wearing for wearing this beautiful dress and a turtleneck because uh, we know how uh, you know inappropriate turtlenecks can be. They just you know. The fact that Dad said that he would take me to church in the outfit that I was wearing <laughs> was uh, was proof enough proof that I definitely was not wearing any type of outfit that should have got me sent home. Karis is a grade 12 student living in Kamloops. She's torn between studying medicine or law after high school, likes to snowboard, and even competes in the rodeo. But now she's got something very different on her plate after her teacher sent her home for wearing this. A black dress over a white turtleneck sweater. I showed up at school and I was sitting for about 20 minutes and doing my work and then I just got told that I needed to be met outside and I went outside and I was told that the dress that I was wearing uh, was inappropriate. Kara says the teacher told her the dress reminded her and a student teacher of a slip and was making her feel uncomfortable. Which I didn't even know what it was at the time because our generation doesn't really wear them at this point. She tells us it was the first time wearing the dress and that she was putting in extra effort that day to get out of her box, saying she usually opts for baggier clothing. If I'm going to class and I'm going to be tired and be a moody teenager, I'd rather be comfortable doing it. She also tells us she was having fun and expressing herself and felt confident wearing it, and that it hit hard when she found herself being pulled aside. I was shocked and I felt sad. I was trying to like hold back the tears because I was embarrassed in a way. I didn't want to run back into my class crying. Should there be guidelines and expectations when it comes to what students wear in a classroom environment? Absolutely. Absolutely there should be. I believe that there obviously should not be anything that you'd wear to a beach or something. But I also believe that students should be able to express themselves. It's better to teach boys to control themselves than to teach women to cover themselves. Meanwhile, Karis's father posted this video to Facebook. It's been viewed more than 18,000 times. Today, I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm hurt, uh, I'm disappointed in, in the system. Uh, the question here for dad is when you saw that picture, uh, did that surprise you that that was what was getting her sent home? Very much so. Uh, that's, you know, I was, her, her mother shared the picture with me. Uh, once I saw it, I said, okay, well, I, I'd like to go discuss this. He went to the school and says he had a productive conversation with the principal, but was left concerned after the school's VP showed him the official dress code. On some of it, like no swearing, no alcohol, tobacco, uh, no nudity on the shirts, all of those, uh, you know, reasonable. The last one was not to be distracting to teachers uh, or students learning. And that one was a little ambiguous and uh, was kind of worried about what that actually meant. We have reached out to School District 73 in Kamloops and are waiting for comment. Wilson says the school has indicated to him that the dress code is something they may be planning to address. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.